Did I just watch that? Did WWE Fastlane 2018 turn out to be like this? Okay, um, wow. Okay, I'm gonna begin with the impromptu match. Bree Zango and Ty Dillinger, they, they, they beat freaking Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable and uh, Mojo Rowley. But, okay. Other than that, I'm gonna give the results, my thoughts, my opinions, and maybe even some rants. Maybe even some rants about WWE Fast Lane 2018. <laughs> You see, I didn't think that Nakamura was going to lose this match because it wouldn't have made sense that way. Since he's the one that's going to be challenging the WWE Champion at WrestleMania, I just didn't think that Rusev, no matter how over Rusev Day is, I didn't think that he was going to beat Nakamura in this contest. Rusev Day. Nakamura Rusev Day. Yes, that actually happened. There was even some Rusev Day chants by themselves. Nakamura chants by themselves. But, again... Didn't see Nakamura losing this. I mean, it, it just didn't make, that wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever. Yeah, it took, it was actually a good freaking match. Yes, it was. It took a lot to beat Rusev here. Rusev didn't go out like a chump. It wasn't a squash match. It actually made it seem like Rusev could have beat Nakamura here. I mean, it took two Kinshastas to do it. One in the back of the head and a regular one in order to do it. But... I just didn't see Rusev winning here. So your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. So let me get this straight. Randy Orton is the new United States champion. Okay, fine. I didn't think they were gonna take the belt off Bobby Roode this soon. And right before WrestleMania, I was wrong. Not the first time, and it definitely won't be the last. But then Jinder Mahal comes out after the fucking match and then make and then does his attack. And I'm like, this should have happened during the match, during the match, during the match, during the match. And they have the nerve to bring him out after the match, attack Randy Orton, get saved by Bobby Roode, and then Bobby Roode drops Randy Orton. Yeah. Bobby Roode is obviously upset that he's no longer the United States champion. So where does his WrestleMania path lead? It better not be that fucking Andre Battle Royal. It better not be. I mean, just no. Remember, Jinder Mahal was a part of that last year. And then he ended up being WWE Champion last year. Even though he didn't want fucking win that Battle Royal. But, but, but I digress. I would like to see a rematch. A triple threat match between these three at WrestleMania. But Randy Orton has now won each and every single championship. Well... Not just singles. He's won the tag team championship too um, within weight class. I mean, of course, he's never been cruiserweight champion. But anyway, Randy Orton is the United States champion now. And it's like, huh, besides a triple threat match at WrestleMania, there's nowhere really to go after that. Didn't see this coming, but then again, I should have. I didn't think the faces were going to lose, but then again, Becky Lynch is basically the fodder. She always has been. So, and I didn't even take that shit into the account here. I didn't. So, I made that mistake as far as predicting that Naomi and freaking Becky were going to win. I thought they were actually going to team up, do something, and vanquish the team of Carmella and Natalia. Carmella is actually the one that scored the pin. And this match was kind of sloppy. Oh, God. I was just like, in this, in this. I don't even care. I don't even give a fuck who wins anymore. Just in this match. And Carmella uh, gets the pin. And I was like, this better not be a prelude for later on in the night. This just fucking better not be. It better not be. It better not be. So this prediction came true. 
I did not think that they were going to take the belts off the Usos, and I didn't think there was going to be a pinfall. I thought that the Bludgeon Brothers were going to come out and, and do what they did. And ha, I can live with that. I can live with the Bludgeon Brothers coming out and destroying these two teams. I can live with that. Even though it kind of went on and the people were pissed, the people in attendance were pissed because, of course, they got robbed out of a good match. They even switched each other's freaking finishers. I mean, you saw the Midnight Hour from the Usos. You even saw one of the Usos try to perform a Trouble in Paradise, okay? You you saw the freaking, the, the kick to a downed Uso and then a splash by Kofi on a, from the top rope. You saw that. It was good. It was Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods from the New Day taking on the Usos. And once again, it was a good match until the Bludgeon Brothers came out and ruined everything. But I thought that was going to happen. I just didn't see the New Day and the Usos just being settled because one team would have to have been vanquished and then there would have been no WrestleMania for that team, especially the way the tag team division is on SmackDown Live. So again, the Bludgeon Brothers come out, interfere, no contest, triple threat for WrestleMania. Come on, set it up. I didn't think they were going to take the belt off Charlotte. It would have been a stupid decision. Ruby Riot, her time will come, but just not now. Charlotte retains, even though the Riot Squad came out and then Becky and freaking Naomi came out. The losers, they, yeah, so they didn't win a match, but they can go help out there and look anyway. It became kind of a clusterfuck at the beginning. With, with those four women out there. But then all four women were ejected. So it came down to one-on-one with a lot of close calls for Charlotte. So they kind of hyped up Ruby Riot that way. They didn't have Charlotte just decimate her. They had Ruby Riot showcase. They actually had a match. It, it, it was pretty cool. I mean, I... I didn't see any problem with the match until the Riot Squad came out and then they did some interference. I, I didn't see any problem with the match. Yes, it was kind of a slow pace type of thing, but that's to be expected here. So, you have Charlotte as SmackDown Women's Champion. But what happens afterwards is what stole the show. Asuka comes out. She does her entrance. She dances around. She takes off her mask and she carefully, carefully, carefully points to the Wrestlemania sign okay so it's that's what's going on sign me up thank god we're getting this match because Asuka versus uh, Alexa um, mm, I wasn't really feeling that so on Raw now Nia Jax can go after Alexa problem solved problem solved and now we're gonna get a dream match at WrestleMania between these two women. <sighs> Asuka and Charlotte. Can't wait. Wait a minute. Hold up. And this is the real problem here. A lot of people haven't thought about this. But I have. As soon as this happened, I was like, look, and WWE, you better not fucking do this or else. You better not have Carmella cash in on either one of these ladies. Especially at fucking WrestleMania. Especially to pin Asuka. You better not fucking do that. She's still lurking out there with this briefcase. She can come and ruin this event. WWE, don't fuck this up. Please. No, have her, you know what, draw, you know, draw the monkey wrench in the whole situation. Have Charlotte, uh, have Charlotte, have Carmella cash in on Raw. Problem solved there too. But do not, do not, do not have her cash in on Asuka. Do not have her cash in and win at WrestleMania. That will just be middle figures and middle toes at that point. WWE, I'm warning you, don't fucking do that. Now 
now we can move on to the main event. Okay. Through all the clusterfuck action that was going on, Shane McMahon even actually made an appearance. And then he got kicked in the head, and that's when he got involved. Kevin Owens was this close. Sami Zayn was this close. <laughs> Shane O'Mac didn't allow that and pulled them both out. Ooh. Okay. What is going to happen on SmackDown Live with that? That is not, yeah, John Cena, no WrestleMania path at this moment. Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, them on the marquee against Shinsuke Nakamura, didn't see that happening. So AJ Styles actually retains. After a pop up powerbomb to Cena by Kevin Owens, AJ Styles hits Kevin Owens with a phenomenal forearm and pins him and actually retains the WWE Championship. So, once again, WWE, you made a good decision. And at least this main event can't get fucked up. Unless you have somebody weasels their way in somehow, like John Cena, or the yep, 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 yepers come in and no, 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 don't do that. Keep this one-on-one -on -one and have this to close the fucking show, please. It's the Royal Rumble winner. It's AJ Styles. It's the dream match we've all wanted to see. It's at WrestleMania and it's for the WWE Championship. That topples Brock Lesnar, who's barely there, and fucking Roman Reigns. So please, WWE, have that as the main event. That That's pretty cut and dry there. And that's what everybody wants to see. Fuck. Close the show with your best match. And that will be the best match. So those are the results, in my opinions. I didn't really rant there. Except for that damn Carmella situation that I hope doesn't fucking happen. But anyway... What are your thoughts about the event? And what are your thoughts about the results? With my opinions, am I full of shit? Do you agree or disagree with me? Who did you think was going to win these matches? Please leave a comment below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, set up those notifications. I'm always open for a debate about wrestling. Who WWE. You basically matrix dodged bullets at this point. Because if AJ Styles would have coughed up the WWE Championship, ooh, that would have been middle fingered all the way to the max. And now you have Asuka versus Charlotte at WrestleMania. Again, don't have that fucking Carmella cash in. Don't fucking do that. I'm looking forward to SmackDown's roster at WrestleMania more than Raw's at the moment. Drop kicks, body slams, throwing motherfuckers over the top rope, both be hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.